Hey everyone, this is Lord Shadrach speaking. I am making this video in regards to what's been going on regarding the Kim Davis ordeal. You know, the county clerk refused the gay couple their marriage license. And I'm also going to make mention of Christian bakeries for denying gay couples wedding cakes. First of all, this is going out to you, Kim Davis. You know, I've heard about you. I know what you've done in regards to the denial of a gay couple their marriage license. And in fact, this video, well, part of it actually, is aimed at you. Are you that stupid? What do you mean exactly by the expression, It's a heaven or hell thing? Does that make any sense? I get what you're trying to say, but it's best if you made a lot more sense than saying this ridiculous notion of saying, It's a heaven or hell thing. A smarter thing to have been done would have been making more sense in regards to what you're saying considering your faith. I'm not bashing your Christian faith. I'm a Christian myself who happens to place his faith in Jesus Christ just like any other believing Christian out there. Bible-believing Christian, I should say. However, when it comes to performing a task you were elected to do, you had no right to deny that gay couple their marriage license. Regardless if you agree with their gay lifestyle or not, you had a job to perform. And as a result of not doing the duties for which you were elected, you are now paying the price. Well, I admire your Christian faith on account of being a Christian myself, and while I do applaud you for sticking up for your Christian faith and standing up for it and defending it, and while you have a right to religious views, despite my Christian faith, I stand against you because you were an elected official who had a job to do regardless of how you thought, felt, or believed regarding homosexuality. You had no right to deny them that marriage license even if they were living a lifestyle you did not agree with. Let us be clear, as a Christian, I do not agree with homosexuality, however we live in a free society and what homosexuals do is something they will have to answer to God one day. That is my belief on the matter. However, if I were an elected official in your position and a gay couple came to me asking for a marriage license, I would have given them a marriage license regardless of what my faith said. Because while the Bible does not agree with homosexuality, it does say to love your neighbors as yourself, not what they do. In other words, the old saying, love the sinner, hate the sin. Now, this part goes to the Christian bakers as well who deny a gay couple a wedding cake. Again, I do not agree with homosexuality and I don't believe gay marriage is right, Just, but nonetheless just bake the cake and be done with them. While I applaud your Christian faith and I hold endearment regarding your belief in Christ, but when it comes to running a business, you are there to serve customers. That is all. That is what you do and that is all you do. Regardless if you are a business owner or elected official, if someone comes up to you asking for your service, you have to give it to them. That is all you do. How hard is that? Some people just don't get it. And obviously y'all didn't get it. Now I will mention the gay couple who was turned down by the county office. I got some choice words I want to use with you. Don't think you're off the hook. Why did you continue going to Kim Davis's office knowing you would be turned down for a marriage license. That is something I want to seriously know. Why did you continually go to this county office knowing all good and well you'd be denied? For those keeping score, I believe it was said in the news that this gay couple was denied five times regarding a marriage license. What is the logic of going to this place knowing that this gay couple will be turned down for a sixth time? The smart thing to have been conducted, the smart thing to do, I'm trying to say, 
is this gay couple should have gone to another county office that would have gladly given them a marriage license. What is the logic of going anywhere knowing you'd be rejected yet again, knowing that prior experience said you're going to be rejected for a marriage license because this one woman will turn you down? Now, as for gay couples regarding wedding cakes, the smart thing to do would have gone to another bakery or establishment that would have gladly served you. Instead of running Christian bakeries into the dirt and out of business, the smart thing to do would have gone to another bakery or establishment that would have gladly baked your wedding cake. I am sure there were countless of businesses that would have gladly served you regardless of your gay lifestyle and regardless if you were marrying another man or another woman. Now, I know businesses have a right to refuse service. It's a crummy right nonetheless. But what can you do? If someone doesn't like you and won't serve you, go somewhere else. Regardless of your religious views, if you're elected to do a job, then do it. Regardless if you're a homosexual and someone doesn't serve you, go to another place that is willing to serve you. To my fellow Christians, please do not give homosexuals any more ammunition for them to use against us regarding Christianity and homosexuality. And to any homosexuals that are watching this video, if someone doesn't serve you because of your homosexual lifestyle, your homosexual orientation, I am sure there are countless other businesses that would gladly serve you and gladly accommodate for you. Please rate, comment, link, and subscribe. This is Lord Shadrach, signing off.